Welcome back everyone, it's the Celtic Workshop and today we're doing a, a special overview. This is the Proxen hand carver. Um, so what I mean by hand carver is that it does carving, but it's by motor. <clears throat> so I bought this um, about a week ago uh, for about, these are 150 euros new, but I got this one for tenner. I know it was an absolute bargain, brand new, just nearly brand new been used three or four times so all i'm going to do in this video is just talk to you guys about it uh tell you uses and uh have a little go at the end so uh stick around to the very end of the video for an uh, important announcement so the first thing we'll take a look at is the box and what's in the box so this came with some basic chisels a v groove bit a gouge a few more gouges a straight chisel bit and another V bit, a little bit smaller. And in the tool itself is a quarter inch chisel. It comes with all these instruction manuals. It comes with a product guide of all what you can get. This is the one I have. So if you want to tick the brand or anything, you can't sure you can. Instruction manual in about a hundred different languages and a safety regulations book. It comes also with a little chuck tool and a little spanner. So we're going to take a little bit of a better look at the tool itself. So it's about 10 inches long, 2 foot, and it has the on and off switch here. It is a it's 50 watts. 220 to 240 volt it has n 11,000 a minute so that must be the speed and uh, It has a very good build is feels very good. This is a German make so most things Germans make will be absolutely brilliant quality Feels brilliant everything seems pretty good on it uh, It has a little hook here. So if you want to hook it on anything You can do that Here and the lead now the lead in a, for me is a big thing because you don't want to lead like a really tough lead that just sits straight all the time. This is feels like a piece of rope. So you can really bundle it in and it feels nice and slack. You also have a nice plug here, which you can clip open if you want to change. Um, you change the fuse there. I didn't realize that. So uh, this, just take a little closer look at the specs. So you can see it's 50 watt, 50 to 60 hertz, and it's made in the EU, and has these little handle grips, the air holes, very good too, feels very good. So I will just take a look now at the little leaflet that come with it. So I'm not going to go over these very much, just tells you about the motor and how to maintain your tool. This here is just a product guide, as I said. These things are mostly for making models and stuff. See a little fret saw, table saw, another fret saw, table saw, planer, sander, carvers with different fittings. A lot of stuff. Sorry, there's R2 there. And a circular saw and router table and stuff. And here's yourself. Safety regulations, suppose you have to send this out if anything happens, wear air protection, eye protection, dust mass, and all that. So even the box itself, it's rugged, it's not a piece of flimsy plastic, it's a good little weight in the zone, and it's very good quality, I must say, and has the little badge at the side of it. Uh, plenty of room in the box for new additions, new blades, and all that. Not like, there's plenty of room in it if you need to have room in it. So that's a good thing because most boxes come with hardly any space and you can barely move or put anything in it. So at least you have plenty of space to put in extra stuff and you can also lock it here. So now I'm just going to test out each one. I'm going to do a line of each chisel to see what it looks like.
demonstration on a change base. We just took this guy in. And we're going to use the biggest gouge bit. I'm not going to do the rest of the gouges just to see how these ones work first. Job done. Now the largest V button. So, this thing is completely harmless when it's on, but it's a hammer. It works as a hammer. It can impact the other. But if you hold that out, it just never do anything to it. So, this thing, children can use it. There's not much harm on it. So, great little machine. Um, a bargain for a tenner, I think. Uh, I can't fault it. Um, it's just a little bit noisy, that's the only fault. I find that it's a little bit noisy, but when you're ear wearing ear protection, you're absolutely 100%. So uh, you can buy these on Amazon or any woodwork shop that you know or hardware uh, for about 150 to 170 dollars, or around that, but they're 160 here, 155. Great little tool, and uh, Hopefully we'll get some nice carving projects in the winter time because I'll be in the shed more. Okay, so I said there's an important announcement through all. I'm giving away, for 50 subscribers, I'm giving away a uh, new Shape 220 block plane um, to the one lucky subscriber. It's not to my 50 subscriber, it's to all you guys out there. Um, I will be giving this away when I had 50 subscribers, so that just means it gives you guys a little bit of heart to subscribe. Uh, but uh, yeah, you'll win this, no problem, I'll ship it and all. Um, great little plane. I'll clean it up for you, it's, uh, it's here a long time and I have no use for it. So I'll give the clean up, sharpen the blade and uh, yeah, I would like to win one, but I have loads of them. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and you, if you find my review helpful, please let me know down below. Or if you didn't like it, just dislike it. Um, uh, but great tool, I would buy one again. But hopefully I won't because it will last a long time. So guys, if you like this video, hit a thumbs up. And if you like it even more, remember to subscribe. Remember about the giveaway. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can buy that in multiple sites and the price range. So guys, as I said, thank you for watching and I hope you all have a good evening.